Woo! This was such a good comment, I had to respond to it. Love bombing feels like they're paying you for for the validation that they will be seeking from you later. That is powerful. Because that's like, that's a great way of putting it because when a narcissist is putting in all that work in a love bombing phase, whining, dining you, sexing you, clapping your cheeks, getting their cheeks clapped, whatever. You know what I mean? They feel like they are trying to sweep you off of your feet. They're putting all that effort in early on into the relationship because they know like in narcissist's mind we, we can't hold that up for that long of a period of time so once the mask slips or the, the love bombing phase comes to an end the narcissist can always say hey you can never you can't ever say i didn't do anything for you you can never say i wasn't loving and caring in the beginning the stuff that a narcissist does for you in the beginning of the relationship can and will always be used against you boyfriend girlfriend husband wife mother father daughter son whatever good comment though what is going on beautiful people welcome to another episode of a narcissist explains i am self-aware narcissist mr lee hammett from tiktok instagram youtube and whatever wherever else you find me at if this is your first time seeing my face i'm a diagnosed narcissist i bring attention and awareness to this personality disorder and also validate victims and survivors in the process this series is dedicated to taking my tiktoks and youtube shorts and going into greater detail into those so this one you just watch right here is about love bombing is it that person that commented on my tiktok said the love bombing feels like them paying it for for the validation that they are seeking and that was like y'all that was so beautifully put i couldn't help but respond to that comment because that's exactly what it seems like when you're dealing with a narcissist like just from the narcissistic perspective like doing the love bombing phase Literally, now this is just not my perspective. I've spoken to a few other narcissistic people as well. I'm in self-aware narcissist groups on Facebook. Love when we're love bombing you, we really truly do feel like we have found the one. We have found. We feel like we have found like the counterpart to our souls. We found our soulmate. Like we want to give you everything that you want and need. Like I'm me personally. I'm listening to you. I'm observing you. I'm analyzing you because I want to make sure I. I'm, I'm like. I want to make sure your every word is heard so I can give you what you want. And you know what I mean? I want to give you what you want and what you need. And I just want to like be able to surprise you and be, I want to be, I want to stay on your mind. Like you are on my mind. Like it's like literally feels like, I don't know. It's, it's just like literally feel like I'm, I become obsessed and addicted to the person. You know what I mean? And then, so we spend some, like I said, I used to drive. Um, I live in, I used to live in Greensboro, North Carolina. My wife lived in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I used to drive an hour and a half just to spend 30 minutes with her or, or an hour with her and drive back home and be happy, but be proud of myself for doing it. I was like, yeah, I just want to see my girl. You know what I mean? The love of my life. You know what I mean? Uh, I talked to one of my friends the other day on, on Instagram Live, and she was there the night I first met my wife. She's like, uh, I screamed out that I was going to marry her. I told her I was going to marry my wife the first time I met her. I was like, I'm going to marry this woman. I was like, wow, I forgot about that because I was drunk. Um... But yeah, like I said, it's a love bombing does indeed feel like, you know, we have, like we are in love. But eventually, the dynamic shifts because we feel like we're giving you everything that you want and need. Sooner or later, in the narcissist's mind, there's a flips, a switch flips, and then it's just like it becomes all about the narcissist. Like the love bombing stops, it becomes all about the narcissist. The mask slips, so to speak, that people use. You know, it becomes all about us. Like I want you to give me what I want and need now. Like I've given you what you want and need. Now I need you to cohere to what I want to need. And then like we started so we started to with, withdraw the love and affection from you. We started to withdraw it. And we expect you to give us more and more and more. But you know, we wind and dined you and you know, what I said in the video, clap the cheeks or whatever. And now you want you want the same amount of stuff you would get in the beginning. You want that the the way you felt, you want to keep that feeling. So now you are fighting to get that person back from the beginning. No matter how long into the relationship you are, this is, could be a month in, this could be a year in, this could be 10 years in. You are consistently fighting now to get back the person that you once knew and loved. You are fighting for the potential of the person. You know and you know the narcissist can do it. You know that the narcissist can do it. You know that the narcissist, because you've been in their life, you've seen them, they, they've done it before. So you know, you just know if you work a little bit harder, if you give them a little bit more love, if you try to love them through the trauma that they told you about, if you try to love them through the bad times that they told you about, if you try to help build them up um, to be a better man or a woman, you know, you think that if you do all that, they'll give you that love and affection back. And every once in a while, the mask, they'll put the mask back on, give you some love and affection, then take it right back off, went back. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's like when, you, when, you're, when, you, when the narcissist is love bombing you, they're just paying it forward for what they expect from you. Like give it, 
all the, you, and then you can't say that we never did it before. It's always you used to be so kind, and caring, and, and uh, affectionate. It's never like you were never this. Like you used to be that because I know now it's because you know that we can do it. You know you expect it. You know we can do it. So you can't ever say the narcissist never did it for you. You can't ever say that I never done that for you. You can't never say I never did anything for you. You can't never say I didn't drive an hour and a half to see you. I was just tired. It just cost gas money. You I mean, you drive an hour and a half to see me twenty minutes to go back. Didn't think so. To stop it. See how it works? You can never say I didn't do it. But I would start to withdraw at whatever. So a lot of people get caught up within this love bombing phase because you it becomes addictive. Uh, and so many people, so many people, when I'm talking to them on one on one, so many people say that same thing. Like, it's ne- it was never like this before. I've never had that type of love and affection. The love bombing was intense. And I can see it in their face, their mannerisms change. When they talk when they start talking about the love bombing phase with a narcissist, their whole body language and their mannerisms change. It's like the love bombing was intense. And they go right well after they talk about love, the the mask slipping, their face changes again. I was like, I'm watching you. I'm watching everything. I'm very analytical. I've read a lot of body language books. So I can say I can see micro expressions and all the other good stuff. So <laughs> So I see that type of stuff and I was just like, yeah, yikes. You know what I mean? Because you, now you're you know, back to the idealization phase. That's how good it was to you. Because when you talk about it, like you, they start off sad, but when they start talking about the love bombing, their whole body language changes. It goes from this right here. I'm an actor, so I'm going to show you how my face goes. Like, but the love but the love bombing, just like that. That's how their face goes. It's crazy. I said mannerisms, they get brighter or whatever. So that feeling that they had, they come through, they comes through the Zoom with me. That's the that, like that's the feeling they want to get back in real life with that narcissistic person that either treated them badly or they're still with. You can't get that back, yo. You have to adjust. Like if you want to remain in a relationship with the narcissist, you have to adjust to them. Like if the narcissist is not in therapy, you have to do all the adjustments. You have to like and speak your mind. Speak. Your, don't be afraid to speak your mind. Take use discretion because some of these people are violent. If you're scared to speak your mind because they might get violent with you, you need to to dip. It's time to dip. You know what I mean. Something to go. You deserve. You gotta feel like you deserve better because the narcissist, like the love bombing, because if the narcissist, like I tell this to people all the time too, narcissists can sense when you are unhappy, so they'll start to love bomb you again. They'll start to bring those old feelings back that you used to have right before you walk out the door, and you're like, okay, here's your 15th chance. I'll give you here's chance another time number 15. 15 times to charm. <laughs> no, 15 times not the charm. 15 times, 15 times is not the charm. Is the 15 times is it's, it's the the rabbit's foot from a, a dead a rabbit has been dead a hundred years. It's like a rabbit's foot uh, skeleton. No, 15 times is not the charm. It's just like I said, the love bombing like, is used. It's weaponized. Weaponized love bombing is a thing, y'all. Little love pops throughout the relationship. It goes from beloved bomb to little you know lo- love pops throughout the relationship to keep you there. You get ready to leave, baby. Please don't leave. I love you. Let's take that trip you wanted. Okay, but you ready to leave, baby? Please don't leave. Let's go ahead and uh, take, 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 take that dance class you want. Baby, please don't leave. We can learn. How, we can buy your motorcycle. See that it go right there? Love bombing. They know and the fact that they love bomb when they love bomb you, and they promise you to give you everything that you want to need when you're walking out the door. Should tell you enough that you need to keep walking out the door, because they knew exactly what you wanted and needed, and still withheld it from you, just to torture you. Take it, take that for what it is. Cause love bombing is can be weaponized and can can and will be used against you in the court of narcissism. Anyway, y'all, if you haven't, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Show me some love, and I really truly appreciate y'all. Because guess what? As much as y'all learn from me, I learn more from y'all. I really, really do. And I'm super, super appreciative, and I'm super thankful for every single one of y'all. Um, keep it, keep the grind going. If you need, leave, some, leave it in the comment section. If you like this this series or whatnot. Hope this is out. Peace.